I want to call out one specific piece of the project metadata, specifically because it's one of the more commonly used, and I think it's one of the more commonly misused aspects of how you set up a specific project, and that's with the repeat functionality. There are a lot of ways that you can use this repeat functionality. For me, the primary use that I have for it are simple things like taking out the trash every week, watering plants, doing house maintenance in the fall and the spring, because there are a number of these things that need to be done, but they need to be done at irregular intervals, and I don't always remember to do them at the right time, and I always think that I'm going to get to them at the right time, and the next thing I know, I'm a month or two late simply because it's a, it's only an annual thing. So I like to have some of my projects set up to repeat at the right time in the year. But there are also some that need to be, they need to repeat weekly or biweekly, monthly. It, it's something that happens fairly frequently in the world of task management. So I want to look at these specific functionalities that come with it. So if I'm looking at this specific project of reading books. I'm going to write an article about reading books. And let's say for some reason I decide I want to write this article on a repeating schedule. That'd be fun for a blog, wouldn't it? So I want to look at these repeat functions. Now, there are three options for how you can set up a repeat. And I'm going to start with the defer another because it's one of the easier ones to understand. So if we go to defer another, and we take a look at this. So it's going to default to one week. Now I can change that to have it run every day. So I could do that and have it defer another day. But what that means is whenever I complete the project, whenever I mark that project complete, it will defer, it'll recreate the project and defer it until tomorrow. Like in this case, it's tomorrow at 12 a.m. So just for an example, if I go to the project and I'm going to hit space bar to mark that project complete, you'll notice in the sidebar over here that that particular project is now grayed out a little bit uh, to show that that is a deferred project. So it's not active in my lists. So if I'm looking at this, I can see, okay, the previous project was completed. This one is now deferred until tomorrow, as we can see here. And if I look down at all of the dates and the defer uh, information here, I can see that the defer date is now set for tomorrow. So now you know when I'm recording this. Now, similar to that, I'm going to clear out, clear out these dates here so I can start from, from scratch here. If I were to change that to do again in one day, and say I don't have a due date in here at all, so right now it says that the next due would be tomorrow at 5 p.m. Because in the preferences for uh, my OmniFocus setup, in this instance, it says that the due date for the default due date for a day is at 5 p.m. So if I were to mark this particular project complete, I will see that it marks it complete, recreates the project, and now that project is due tomorrow. So everything is now marked as due for tomorrow. And it will continue to do that. So if I come back in tomorrow, I mark that complete, it will mark it due yet again. And it will continue to do that, just depending on when I mark it complete. So if I were to hit that again, simply because I'm sitting here and I just did it a few seconds apart, it's going to again leave it at tomorrow. Now, what I will say is that using the do again repeat functionality, to me, makes no sense at all. Because... To me, a due date is one that if I, if I actually put a due date on a project, it's a hard deadline. And whenever you use something like do again, and it's dependent on when you complete the project, then to me, that's not a real due date. That's just an arbitrary date that you're giving. It. So my recommendation to you is stay away from the do again repeat functionality. Something that's probably a little more conducive to that would be the third way of repeating is repeat every. Now, if I set repeat every, and I have that set to one day, so I'm still looking at the same project. I still have that due date on it. All I did was change the repeat interval. And I were to, if I'm going to check this off, then I come back in here, and now it has progressed the following day. Again, if I were to hit it one more time, 
I was looking at 8.13 for the due date, and now it's 8.14. So you can see that as I check them off, it continues to make it progress on through the future. The interesting thing about repeat every is I can also give it a defer date at the same time. So if I set that to where it's deferred till tomorrow, and then I have it to where it's due two days later, and I were now to go up and hit complete on it, go back into it, well, now the defer date has progressed by one day, and the due date has progressed a day as well. So you can see how you can really start to build some interesting methods whenever you use the repeat every functionality. And you can set that repeat to do it monthly. You could do it weekly and then choose the specific days within the week. I think if you go to and change this to the week, see I mistyped it, but it corrected it for me. I could tell this to repeat on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And now if I check it off and come back into it, uh, if I were to look at the dates, I'll see that those line up with Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, and, and we'll, you would just continue to progress from there. So it will continue to follow whatever pattern that you have set up for it. And you can get pretty complex with this, and, and you can really start to do a lot of interesting things with it. But for me, the, the one that I use the majority is repeat every, because I'll use that for things like taking out the trash. And then I'll use defer again for things like watering the plants because sometimes I go a little late and I don't get it done right away, but I know that I don't want to do it too frequently. So I will put in something like water the plants. I'll get it done today and I'll put in a, a repeat of every uh, or a defer again every four days. And then that would just tell me that, okay, in four days I need to water the plants again. And it just allows me to keep doing that. If I go a day late, it still pushes it off four days from whenever it is that I complete it. So that's, that's kind of how I use those two. Again, I would stay away from do again. It, it just, arbitrary due dates, they'll get you in trouble. You'll still sit there and look at them and you won't know which one's real. So stay away from do again. I, I would highly suggest you not use that one. I'm sure there are some instances where it's helpful. I just haven't found any. And that's just how I operate with it. So I hope that helps with the repeat functionality and hopefully that gives you a little bit of an overview of how you could potentially use those.